Hi, in this video series, we're gonna learn about data science. And specifically, I'm gonna use this book, Business Data Science by Matt Teddy. And this book was something that I always wanted to read. And so now that I have read it, I'm gonna use this as uh, the basis for all the content. Not everything that I share uh, would be from this book, but I'll definitely try to cover the heart and meaning from the key concepts from this book and then add to it. So let's get into this wonderful journey of data science. So the basic question is why business data science? Why now, right? What is data science and why now? Data science is more relevant now because there is lots of data that's being generated by all of us because we are digitizing. Everything that was physical is being made digital. We have um, our social interactions are captured in a digital format. Our bank transactions, you can do this on your phone. Our notes, everything that we write, contacts, everything's in our phone, our computer is what we use. And so this, this huge wave of digitization that has happened over the last many years, due to which lots of data has been generated. And the second main thing why data science becomes more important for each one of us to learn is there's lots of recent convergence over the last 10, 15 years across various fields in computer science. Uh, statistics, machine learning, data analysis, um, economics to solve business problems. By that, what I really mean is uh, we used to be able to monitor and run businesses before, but now we can run them much more granular uh, with insights that are much more granular. And the role of data scientist or a data science expert is to help identify metrics or variables that impact the business. So they need to understand what, what is important to the business, what is the business model, how the company is providing value and how they can suggest meaningful experiments that they can run so that they can actually get to the cause of what moves the business metrics and actually go to the causation and make big changes to those causes so that the business prospers. And the data scientist is also someone who should be able to monitor um, insights and be able to mine data so that those insights from the customer behavior are used for the improvement of the business. One other main thing that's going on that is important is Excel spreadsheet based calculation and SQL based calculation um, using querying is no longer scaling. We need better tools now because the data is much more and Python and R comes in handy because they provide lots of libraries and packages that you can use to do things that are important to the business at scale with the data size that you now have. Like for example, if you wanna track the customer behavior, you wanna track the details of your operations at a granular level, you wanna automate decisions and run experiments and then scale up your product, all of that really requires now the skill of Python. Um, and deeper understanding of what causes things. So no longer just correlation, but also causation. And finally, this book will really be helpful for us because it will equip, equip us with all the tools that we may need to start making better effective data-driven decisions. We will learn some of the best practices. We will learn what kind of questions to ask when we don't know the solution to problems. And so we'll just get better at building our tool set with this new skill. And finally, we'll make it real by coming and using examples um, so that we'll use some of these things either in Excel, if it's a prototype, or in Python, most, most likely in Python. Even though the book uses R extensively, I've chosen to use Python. 
and we'll use Google Colab and I'll get to that over time. So that's the introduction, the gist of what I learned in introduction. But there is still one other thing that I wished was there in the introduction and that's this slide as to, you know, what are the skills and job roles that are available today that a data scientist uh, needs to work with or that a data scientist needs to acquire these skills. So there's going to be lots of technology, new skills that the data scientists would have to explore. Uh, the first one being, as I said, Python. Python is important because this uh, is how the data scientists will be able to use packages and libraries that help help them with cleaning the data, processing data that is large and efficiently be able to invoke like various libraries and so that you don't have to write those algorithms. So Python, knowing Python or knowing R is important. I've chose to deviate and say, hey, Python is one skill. SQL is another skill that you need to build Primarily because, you know, if you want to do data exploration and query the data, then you need to be able to um, query it from a structured relational source. So that's important as well, um, because at some point you will explore the data and you'll have it in one place. So you, you need that skill as well and be able to explain the insights that you have in a visually appealing format. So you need to be able to learn how tools like Tableau, Power BI, or any other inbuilt libraries that are used for visualization, you need to learn those visualization skills. So that's the technology. These are not just the only three. This is just the top three that I came up with. Eventually this list can continue to build as the field becomes more and more mature and more and more um, capabilities are added. The second layer of skill sets that are equally important is deep understanding of math statistics um, because if you have large amount of data, you want to summarize it, right? You want to also talk about inference as to how this data is uh, telling you insights and with what level of certainty is it telling you that insights and is the summary of that data is good enough for you to make decisions on. So you need to understand the foundation of statistics and understand how large amount of data can be summarized and also used for inference and used for causation and be able to then add to it machine learning various algorithms being able to model um, and be able to run at scale lots of data that you have these algorithms will help and equip you to make sense and get insights out of the data Finally, the third layer is business. You need to deeply understand how the product works, how the business works, what's the business model. If you have a set of customers, what, what, is, what is their engagement? What's their value proposition? Only then can you understand the business requirements because you start with business requirements and then figure out like how you can use technology, how you can use statistics, how you can use machine learning, how you can use, create insights from this so deeper understanding of the products is very important. And economics, right? Law of supply and demand is, is the one-on-one -on -one part of economics. And uh, you need to understand business problems as to how, uh, what metrics are important and be able to propose solutions that move the metric so that the company becomes more profitable in the future. So these are just the high level set of skills that I listed. And we'll, we will explore in this series, not just covering this book, but uh, this book does cover a lot of this, but there'll be some parts that may not be there. Like for example, in the introduction, these skills were not listed, but they were you know, sprinkled in some, some fashions. I've summarized it here. So knowing these skills one by one, you don't have to be an expert at all, but you start with one. And in this, in this series, we will learn Python in more detail. Uh, we'll probably do some visualization, we'll use statistics, machine learning, not as much as SQL, um, and we'll, we'll frame problems, we'll do data explorations. And so, because there are lots of these skills, 
there are different job roles available that specialize in each of these skills. So let me give you an overview of various types of uh, roles that are available. A data scientist typically understands a business challenge and proposes a solution. And for that, they really need to go across the depth of all of these areas at some level. But in a sense, they understand what the business issues are and can leverage each of these skill sets to come up with solutions. But there could be a data analyst who just focuses on, let's say, the visualization part or the exploration part. So there's a role just for this because this is big enough for someone to do. And there's a data architect that you know figures out, okay, how is it that I'm gonna build this system so that it's secure, it is uh, scalable, and what's the blueprint, right? So they have to really come up with, you know, what's my data warehousing plan, what's my overall, who are all the, who are, what are all the components in my system? So that's a data architect, so a role just for that. And data engineer is like a person who is responsible for getting the data into the system and updating and running the data on running big uh, running software like let's say Hadoop, Spark, and other on this big data. So that's a data engineer. Statistician, you could have a skill set just for a role for someone who comes up with better methodology of how to apply uh, this this uh, logic to solve business problems. So deeper understanding of how to build experiments and uh, and all of that. And then there's a database engineer who's responsible for proper backup recovery. Business analyst focuses more on the business side, but then works with other people here with data data engineer, data architect, data scientist. And data analytics manager, you know, who's who has a team, a team uh, of engineers, potentially data scientists, data analysts, data architects, data engineer. So you will see a lot of these jargons of different people having different title in their job names. And this is my view of what this is, but every company can have a newer set of names and newer set of activities. I've given a high level set of activities that you know, this role data scientists would do, but it could be very different. A company can can say, hey, in my company, this data scientist is also required to do data analyst work, data engineering work, data architecting work, also understand statistics. So based on the company, the role can be different. But what you need to understand from this is that there are different skill sets and there are someone who's an expert in one may not be an expert in all. And so more and more of these skills would be added. So ask whichever company you are in, ask them a simple question. Okay, what's your title? They'll say, okay, I'm a data engineer. Then ask them what activities do they perform? What is their source from which they depend on some other teams for you know starting their work and what's the output? Where do Where is their output gonna be consumed? So that's the set of activities that they'll do and they'll name them something um, that may not even be in this list. This list is evolving, but at least you get a high level overview. If you're an expert in one area, let's say data analysts, then analysts, then you're you know, really supposed to be good at SQL or visualization for a company, but some other company can define it somewhere else. So that's the overview. We talked about the introduction of why data science what does the data scientist end up doing? And finally, we went through various you know, skill sets that we will go into in depth over time using this book. And I'll add to this some of, some of my key insights that I learned from some other books or some other sources so that we can deeply understand data science in this wonderful journey and uh, make it practical. So that's the key goal. Yeah, so I will see you all in the next one. Thanks.